And so the last thing now standing between you and food is Hannes and layer three offloads. So. Hello. Um, I was invited on short notice. So I'm not that well prepared, but I looked at the discussions on NetDev again, and I just hope to somehow uh, also get end up into a productive discussion on how to tackle this problem. Um, basically, the idea is what, what Scott sent to the mailing list was basically just a very simple patch set which hooks into some, some IP root addition, add and delete functions, and tries to propagate those down to the hardware where they can just be installed into, yeah, as a specific offloading device. And the idea now is that basically we should try to come up with a scheme how to better integrate that into the Linux kernel so we don't lose the features that we currently have and build up on the atomic blocks we already are used to work with. And I guess that it's kind of reasonable to assume that the basic building block we have is the routing table. So trying to just create a new routing table which can be offloaded and not offloaded but I would assume that is the basic idea behind what we can try to do. And afterwards, just putting those tables into a specific chain, like we have already this IP rule chain where we currently have a linear list of specific actions which can get matched. And after they get matched, uh, there can be a decision to, to look into a, a specific rule table. And what we currently can do that we basically already can build two verifiers, one verifier per table if, we, if uh, the offloading device has enough capabilities to offload one particular table. If that fails, we fail uh, offloading the whole table. And a verifier for a complete namespace, the namespace, uh, so basically the namespace incorporates the whole rule set. Um, and it will walk the rule table or the, the rule settings um, from the beginning to the end and will look how far it can um, propagate a specific offloading flag. And as soon as one table fails to, to provide the offloading flag, we will fail all other tables after that specific table. And um, there are some small problems. So basically, I would suggest that if, you, if someone wants to offload a specific routing table, it should be bound to IP rule with the in interface flag or with no flag at all, and otherwise we should already, uh, we can't offload it. Okay, that would be kind of my proposal, and it's open for discussion now. <coughs> uh, in matters such as these, I would suggest that we start simple and become complex later. Uh, that's why I want to handle offloading of routes and layer three forwarding in the most simplistic case where we have logically a single routing table. We have the separate local and main tables right now, but logically they, the way that, that those routes get inserted there, it's actually one big tree of, of routes and it's very simple. And I would like to handle that case first. Things get really complicated with the, the rule sets because it, the rule sets support pre arbitrary prefixing and they have ordering constraints. And they have various actions that they can perform which are other than look in the, look in the routing table associated with this rule set. So it's a really complex problem to solve. I kind of understand your, your, your uh, proposed solution where we, we keep the hardware offload flag on until we find something that we can't do, basically, is what you're saying, right? Yes. So I, I'm not against that once we get to that point. Um, but I think we need to have a better understanding of what hardware can actually do these rule sets first before we can kind of have a game plan for deciding whether it's going to be able to be supported in the hardware at all, like wh how would we figure it out. Um, do we know if hardware can, can do this at all, arbitrary prefixes on sources and destination address and TOS values and things of this nature? That's something we need to investigate first. I can speak to some of that. So existing, at least again, switching type hardware, uh, can do fairly minimal things, but you can emulate all of those with a clever use of default route and, and then getting the CPU to step in and, and impose policy. And then the CPU then, yeah. So th there would be simple things we can do, and Hannes and I have talked a little bit about trying to model some of those things, also in the context of what we talked about in that context. 
ordering. And ordering is ordering horrible. And overlap. Yes, yes, yes. Those are actually ordering is the one that's hard. It's harder. It's much harder. It's the same reason why IP tables conversions into hardware offloads can be complicated as well, or not representable. But if we are very restrictive, we can just write a verifier in a few short lines for the rule of for the rule um, ordering stuff because we f just fail everything if it's not fitting into our model. Right. That is the offload model that we just talked about for right. IP tables. So if we just do it very simple, it just says that basically just walk the rule set as soon if there's something diff um, else than EEF match, or you just fail. Or you say match this to the default route, yeah. make sure it comes to the CPU. So no objection. OK. Thank, Thank you, you very much, Hannes. Yep. Thank, Thank you. you. <clears throat>